As I said, um, every time I'm taking these phone calls with my subscribers, with you know, just readers, with people that are actual paying customers, I'm taking notes about what they're saying. So I'm taking down bullet points about, you know, like if if someone went through one of my free courses, for example, and said, "Oh man, like this one particular thing is what really jumped out at me, and I was able to, you know, do X, Y, Z from it." Uh, then that for me right there is a, is a quick little testimonial that I can use somewhere on a course sales page. Um, and regardless of whether or not it was, you know, a massive life-changing transformation, it's, it's something positive that people have said about me and I can share with others. And then, you know, the more you share these sort of little testimonial bits, the more opportunities you're creating for other people to resonate with what they're reading on sales pages. And so that's just like one small example. And then, you know, beyond that, like I'm, I'm always just trying to ask unique questions that'll get to the core of what these um, customers' real challenges are. So a lot of people think that, you know, in the context of starting their own business, um, one of the biggest hurdles is having enough money or having enough time. And by really digging into what's underneath those assumptions, you often find that it's it's kind of like they just need to build more trust and confidence in themselves. 